So I'm going to demonstrate how the baby moves through the pelvis and navigates the shape of the pelvis as I uh, talked about earlier, what that looks like and what that means. As you can see, the baby's head is widest from back to front rather than from side to side. So when baby starts to descend into the pelvis, baby's going to start out in this position, not like this, because what baby's doing is lining up the widest part of the head with the widest part of the pelvis, pelvic uh, inlet. And so baby starts to move down. Then as baby's moving down, he, she has to rotate because as we mentioned before, the outlet is opposite of the inlet where the front to back diameters are now wider instead of side to side. So this is called internal rotation. Then as the baby's head is born, what is called extension happens. And this is when uh, baby's head comes up underneath that pubic bone. It then extends its head instead of flexing chin, chin to chest. Extension of the head happens. Once the head is born, uh, the baby will rotate once again. And this is called external rotation. So the baby is going to rotate to face either one of mom's thighs. And the reason that um, the baby does this is because, again, now the shoulders are the widest part. So the, the widest part, the shoulders, are lining up with the widest uh, part of the pel pelvis, which is front to back. And so that gives the shoulders more room to be born as well. So shoulders are born and expulsion takes place. 